But well, why, why, wait, why, 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 why do you focus on this? Because, you no. see, if you're a Muslim, then what really matters is, because he, again, you, you look at this as an outsider, you see these documents. Yeah. Now, for you, you should say it's good that they're contradictions. Yeah. Because if you're, if, you're in, um, if you're a detective and yeah. you're dealing with a crime scene, yeah. you'll want different sources of information about that crime no, scene. If and you'll say, you'll expect them to contradict, because it's like in Britain, yeah. you, know, you remember, there have been scandals in our court system where coppers, policemen have their yeah. notebooks, and they make up the story of what happens before they go into court but and they all have the same story so you, for you as a Muslim yeah. it would be quite good that you have these variations because that would bear witness to a real event happening that was approximately what those two stories say no. although there's some differences but, but, but then if, if it's inspired by God how, how can it be a good thing yes. to for you you wouldn't be saying at this stage oh yeah I agree it's inspired by God you need more to, to explain why there's this alleged contradiction but from your starting point as a Muslim you you say, well, why? I want to find out if these events really happened. Yeah. So, and if you and you, so you'd be happy to see contradictions, even if they're just apparent, because that would mean these documents are from different sources. And if they're from different sources, saying slightly different things, that means they're independently attesting to the same event, the same core event. Like, for example, um, Jesus. The core thing for us is a, he's um, he he, he, he preaches yeah. something called the gospel. We don't have to have all the details of it. Then eventually he's arrested and dies on the cross. And then he, then he rises from the dead. Yeah. These are the core things. The rest of it doesn't matter much. No. Whether we work this miracle, detail, whether we work that miracle, doesn't matter. Those core things. To us would be one gospel said Jesus died on the cross, and then another gospel says Jesus didn't die on the cross. Yeah. No. If you have a gospel that says Jesus cured Cyrus's daughter, and then another gospel that says Jesus may or not. We don't care. Oh about no. That. Yeah, it's not what I said. Not I didn't say he might quite have not. I said in the other one, it's. Uh, I didn't finish. No, that's not the point no. I'm making. The point yeah, I'm making I get making it. that even if you're correct, it is irrelevant for us. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're saying is because the major claims are the same, the minor claims do not matter. That's, that's it. Right. That's right. And and when you think about it, then you've got these core events from documents which Can all. I just all say something very no. quickly. Yeah. You must. What you have to do is understand our relationship as Christians with the Bible. What you're doing is you're looking, are you a Muslim? Yeah. You're looking at your relationship with the Quran and you're imposing it onto the Bible. No, I'm trying we to learn about the Bible. That's fine. So I'm but, asking questions. But, yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. But we don't have the same relationship with the Bible as, as Muslims have with the Quran. And we don't have the same view. You view it as this document, the Quran, must be perfect in every single way. We, we don't have that view towards the Bible. Okay. Okay, okay. 